Uh, please do so, Desmond. So it's Jobs Week. What are the boys up to this week? Yeah, so really, um, Job Week is an opportunity for our boys and girls to uh, learn about the dignity of uh, labor and, of course, uh, you know, the importance of honest work. So they're actually going to go around in Singapore uh, starting today asking for a job. And, uh, of course, um, you know, at the end of it, um, you know, we hope our members of the public would also uh, give them a little donation. Mm. And it is different this year, isn't it, Desmond? Yeah. Yeah, of course, uh, it's our first job week after a two years uh, hiatus because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so, you know, we do the usual stuff for job week, but of course, there are a lot of um, safe uh, managed management measures that we will put in place to help keep our boys as well as members of the public safe. Yeah. So talk to us about what they'll be doing. They'll be mir mirroring the work or shadowing, I should say, the work of people at MRT stations, train stations and other frontliners. Do they get to go to the hospitals? Uh, no, we're not doing the hospital this time around. Uh, in fact, uh, what's going to happen later on uh, in the morning is uh, President Halima Yaakob will be launching uh, job week at one of the neighborhood train stations. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you rightfully pointed that out. Uh, we wanted our young people to get the opportunity to understand the courage and sacrifices that our frontline workers have put in the last uh, two years, especially the, the time when, you know, we were all stuck at home during uh, the circuit breaker, circuit breaker measures. So this is really an opportunity for them to kind of experience some of the jobs. So later on at the train station, um, they'll be shadowing a service ambassador, uh, train staff, security officers. These are all the folks that, um, you know, we see day in, day out when we get on the train. Um, but we understand very little of what they do. So it's a great opportunity for our scouts to be able to experience those jobs later on this morning. Yeah, would be. Uh, stark contrast from what job week used to be like. And we're talking about, you know, quite a few years ago as well, Desmond. What was it like for you back in the day? Uh, it's one of those uh, very enjoyable week, right? And, uh, you know, sometimes when I talk about it, I still um, would chuckle a little bit at it. <laughs> as long as you things. don't tear up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is really uh, interesting. For example, I mean, when I was uh, in primary school, uh, one of those jobs that I had was actually to help uh, an elderly gentleman uh -huh. with his antique collection, right? Um, so, of course, uh, he had a whole shelf full of antiques, and uh, uh, as he was getting older, he couldn't dust those at the top. Uh, and, and so he gave me a job and said, you know, I'm going to give you $2. Can you help me? dust those things so it, it was the longest uh, hour of my life because <laughs> every single piece out there is you know so precious to him oh. and being a, being a kid right you're like i better not you know messed up or if i break one of those things yeah um, your hands must have been shaking Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> desmond is there a recommended amount that we should donate do, do, I, I remember uh, you used to carry these cards right and then you kind of have to tick off an amount or something like that Yes, we, we still do. Uh, and, and really, um, you know, Job Week is not about uh, donation. Of course, we encourage members of the public um, to just give a token. Um, but, you know, it's, it's really up to um, the person providing a job. Mm -hmm. uh, we also tell our boys and girls the same thing, right? Uh, this is a great opportunity for them to, uh, quote unquote, get rejected because not everybody would have the time to entertain them when they're yeah. knocking in the Hey, some people uh, give you money to go away. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened, right? Are you supposed to accept? Yes. Uh, yes, we do. But what we do is we also can get our boys and girls to help maybe, for example, arrange the shoes out in the corridor. Yeah. Um, that was my mom's them, thing. Right? <laughs> yeah, or, or ask them, say, is there anything that we can do for you? Like uh, bring the trash down or, or for example, uh, you know, there's a trash bag out at the door. Can we dispose that off for you? You know, those are the things that we ask our boys and girls to do when okay. they're all mm. donation. Yeah. Do, do, pa do parents ever get overprotective about their kids going to strangers' doors and knocking? Now, of course, they will always be concerned, which is why um, there's safeguards in place. Um, we, you know, put in a system where, you know, if you're of a certain age group, you are to be accompanied by adults, your parents. Uh, you, and then if you're the older boys and girls, for example, we ask that they go in groups. So I was a Cub Scout leader before I took on um, this HQ appointment. Uh, and what I did was I took a bunch of Cub Scouts uh, and, you know, yes, when I was talking about a pack of them, yes, a pack of them. <laughs> For job week, uh, you know, me and a couple of adult volunteers would take, you know, three or four, and then we'll go with them just to, you know, make sure that they're safe. But at the same time, also to encourage them, right? Because uh, it can be tiring after a couple hours of work, um, and then you know we sit them down 
um, look after them and make sure they're all ready to go again. Yeah, and, there's, and they do learn a lot of things during this uh, job week, as we said earlier, about actually uh, earning money you know, by doing good. Um, just talk, Desmond, about why, you know, why Scouts are still relevant today. I mean, our lives are run by that we've got apps, we've got so much technology uh, that, do, that, that does a lot of these jobs for us. So why are Scouts still relevant? Yeah, I think it's, you know, our movement have existed, you know, for the past century, really centered around a, um, you know, value-based, non-formal educational program for our young people, right? And, you know, we're preparing them for life, preparing them to be resilient, and at the same time, you know, to play a constructive role in society. Um, so, you know, you, you talk about the apps and technology and stuff like that. Sometimes we lose that human touch and we felt that. You know, Job Week, for example, is an excellent opportunity for young people to get out there and knock on people's door uh, and talk to people instead of texting them or, or you know, doing it via an app or, or the internet. Um, so that, that people-to-people relationship um, cannot be duplicated, say, in the technology world. Um, and this gives us an opportunity to do that. And scouting provides that platform as well. The young people come together, they have fun, they learn. Yeah. And, and sometimes they fail together, right? And, yeah, they do. They, they, pick themselves <laughs> up again. they get lost in neighborhood estates, yes. <laughs> not find yes. the right block and that kind of thing. But you're kind of safe because you're in a pack. Desmond, yeah. good luck for job week. It sounds very exciting. And enjoy your morning with the president later. Thanks, Yasmin. Thanks, Justin. Lovely talking with you. Desmond Chong is Chief Commissioner of the Singapore Scouts Association. Be generous for Job Week.